This time I'll be comparing the iPhone 5S, which was released by Apple in 2013. I'll be comparing it against the iPhone XS. That is the iPhone XS, the latest release by Apple in 2018 September. So I'll be comparing this bad boy with my oldest iPhone 5S and I'll be comparing mostly about the camera's aspect, the slow motion, time lapse, bright shooting, videos, though the iPhone 5S just does this at uh, 1080. So without further ado, let's just dive into it. Yo guys, so I want to see how the stabilization is working and how does each device is picking up the audio. Here's a very quiet place. The sun is on my right. This should be a bit of a dark, the shadow. Right now you're listening to the iPhone 5S. How does it sound? And right now you're listening to the iPhone XS. How does it sound? The iPhone 5S is a 2013 device and I'm among the first that I've bought it because I bought it around October and I was very pleased with this uh, smartphone because it was a very great smartphone, very fast, never lagged. But now it's a five-year-old device and this is how it compares to its uh, big brother, to his uh, iPhone XS. Here's a bit of low light. The iPhone 5S doesn't shoot 4K, so I'm being fat. We're shooting 1080 at 30 FPS with both devices. So this is how stabilization is working when walking. Now let's rev up the engine and run a little bit. This is the back camera, 1080, 30 FPS. So right now, the iPhone XS, as you may know, has this 2x zoom, which is optical zoom and you don't lose any quality when you zoom in, but when we zoom on the iPhone 5S, we need to use a manual zoom, which will lose the quality. And on the iPhone XS right now, this is 2x optical zoom. Right now we need to zoom it by hand and it can go up to 6 times zoom. And on the iPhone 5S, this is the maximum. So this is the difference. So right now I'm feeling with the iPhone XS, which is on my left side, and the iPhone 5S, which is on my right side. Right now the audio is coming off from the iPhone 5S. Now the audio is coming off from the iPhone XS, which is right here. I'm watching to the iPhone XS. I'm watching to the iPhone 5S. From the screen that I'm watching right now, I'm watching a big difference. I mean, the iPhone 5S, man, it's a bit shame. I mean, from 2013, it may be good, but the iPhone 10s is way good. And also the field of view on the iPhone 10s is bigger, is uh, spacey. On the iPhone 5S, it's not. Oh, look here, here's a nice bridge. Nice. So yeah, that's the selfie video camera. Now let's have a look at picture comparisons. Here's a picture of an orange in very bright lighting conditions. The first thing we notice is the sharpness of the fruit on the iPhone XS and overall picture in general. If we zoom in, we can notice the pure sharpness of the iPhone XS. I mean, the colors look good on both, but the iPhone XS has done a better job at protecting the orange color better. Second picture, sharpness test. At a glance, they look both sharp. The iPhone XS 12 megapixel makes the difference though. If we zoom over, we'll see there's more quality on iPhone XS, but the iPhone 5S has done a very good job as well. Third picture, shadow test. You can clearly see the iPhone XS has, has maintained the image brighter and the iPhone 5S looks darker and beyond the beans, you can look at the darkness too. iPhone XS again superior. Another picture, another example of iPhone 5S retaining the blacks and the iPhone XS pulling out the blacks. In this other picture, there's all about exposure and highlights. The building beyond this object 
are very exposed, way better on the iPhone XS than iPhone 5S. Also, there's a little bit of the sky you can watch on the iPhone XS as well. The iPhone XS also has made a better job also exposing the object. Here's an interesting picture and this is very tricky for your camera. There's a strong sunlight coming to your lens which is very bright and you're taking a picture of someone. The iPhone 5S looks so dark but the background looks sweet. The XS on the other hand has tried to satisfy both scenarios. The background looks good but the sunlight a little overexposed. The subject though looks much better and more enjoyable and you can totally use it. Another picture and now the iPhone 5S doesn't shoot portrait but we have tried to fake it by taking a picture closely. iPhone XS has maintained natural colors of the skin naturally. The iPhone 5S is very warm and sunlight has interfered and made it more yellowish. Other than that, the image on the iPhone XS looks way sharper than the one on the 5S. This other image was taken inside the store. The iPhone 5S looks black and the iPhone XS picture, the black is pulled off and the image looks brighter. If we zoom in, we can look more details on the jacket and the scarf since it's way brighter and the 5S has a lot of black in it. Also, if we have a look at the upper part, the face is obviously sharper on the iPhone XS comparing to 5S. Other than that, the image is clear. Now let's have a look at low light. This picture was taken in very low light environment. The iPhone XS looks so much usable and nicer. The 5S is almost complete darkness. The same picture, but using the flash. Definitely the flash in the iPhone XS looks more natural and has brightened the scene on the background as well. On the iPhone 5S, on the other hand, the flash has brightened the subject, but nothing else looks beyond the bean. Last picture, this was taken inside home during night. Both pictures look good, but there is so much noise on the iPhone 5S when we zoom in. And also in this part looks very awful. This is where 4 extra megapixel make the difference. I mean the 12 megapixel on the iPhone XS and the 8 megapixel on the iPhone 5S. And that's about it guys. I really hope you enjoyed my video. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It always does help a lot. And if you are enjoying my videos, tech related videos and also my vlogs, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And just let your thoughts in the comment section below. I would love to read them and reply to them. I'm Henry. Have a good one. Peace.